Hey everybody, it's Zach from Myshire Farm and we are back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. I am very excited about today's video, so I hope you stay tuned because today we are gonna be talking about my favorite color, the SSC, the Schofield Silver Collection. So if you've been following our videos, you know that we're doing a playlist called All About the Colors. Now, if you haven't watched them, you can go to our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, go to the playlist tab. Under there, there's a playlist called All About the Colors. We've already talked about a couple different jumbos. Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the rare colors, the SSCs. We're gonna be breaking everything down for you. We're gonna be talking about egg size, full maturity weight, we're gonna be talking about what they look like, we're gonna be talking about how to sex them, differences between male and female, uh, lifespan, and so, so much more. So before we begin, like always, I gotta ask, please support our channel. Hit the like button, we'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, and if you would like, hit that bell. If you hit the bell, it will give you notifications on future videos to help you on your journey with Caternix Quail. And we've got a lot of great videos coming your way. We've got pearls, pansy fees, fab fees, more jumbos, and so much more. So without further ado, we're gonna talk about the SSCs, the Schofield Silver Collection. Now the first thing you need to know about the Schofield Silver Collection is that it is a collection. A collection means that it's going to hatch out many different varieties of colors. So with silvers, you can get Andalusian and lavender and charcoal. And this one would be what we call a silver pharaoh, which I will tell you how to get. Um, you can get a lot of different colors out of the SSCs. Now, we don't sell them individually. We sell them as a collection because that's what we love about the SSCs. We love getting a variety of colors. Also, it helps because we use different colors with the SSCs to get uh, certain colors out of it. Uh, and you don't want to mix the SSCs together for a long period of time like we would do um, because that would present issues such as deformities and lethal genes and things like that. So we've pretty much bred out the albino gene. It still shows up every once in a while, uh, but we've bred that out for the most part. It is very, very rare to get one of those. Um, now let's talk about the Silver Pharaoh, part of the SSC collection. The Silver Pharaoh we get by breeding silver hens, dark silver hens, with Pharaoh males. You will get the markings on the back that are similar to the Pharaoh, only they are silver, and they are feather sexable. So if you've watched future or past videos, you know that this is a, that's right, it is a hen. We know that because of the feather markings on the chest. Um, usually the males will just have a white chest, kind of like a tuxedo. So this would be a silver pharaoh. Now, little side note, this video is going to go a little long um, because I've got five different colors to show you. Now, more silvers will hatch out uh, of your SSC eggs, um, but I just picked five or this video could go 20 minutes. Um, so the next one I, I like a lot, quite a bit. And this one is a silver Italian cross. So we call it a silver and gold. Um, there's many different names, people, it, we just, that's just what we call it. Now, uh, also a side note before I go any further, this is what we have compiled, the information and the research that we have done at Myshire Farm. So there can be a lot other information out there. This is just what we've collected, what we've written down, and what we can share with you, all right? So this is a silver and gold, as we call it, and she is feisty, or nope, it's a he. I know that because of the head. It is a very, very dark head, so I know that this is gonna be a male. They are pretty young. This one is about five weeks old. So you see the markings on the back. You see quite a bit of gold. This is when we put a golden Manchurian male over silver hens. So that is something that you can get from the silver, uh, the SSC hatching eggs that we uh, offer. This is what I would consider to be a traditional silver. 
Um, so pretty light. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be male or female. Uh, most silvers, in fact, I'm just going to be safe and tell you that the SSCs are not feather sexful. Now, I know that's contra contrary to what I said about the Silver Pharaoh, but again, the majority of silvers, you're going to have to vent sex, which means you won't know whether they're male or female until they're six to eight weeks old, depending on your experience. This would be another color variety of the SSCs. A little bit darker, you see the white wing tips, which is pretty cool. And then I'm gonna show you one more. Now, this one, looks a little rough but it is my favorite ssc um, she is now a pet she's no longer in the breeding program because she's about two and a half years old uh, but she's just so cool um, little feisty uh, did not like me collecting eggs from her uh, while she was in the breeding program um, but i love the dark color so this little camera shy this is a very very dark quail we would consider this to be a charcoal again i know other people would disagree that's just what we call it here at my shire farm these are just our opinions our research and what we have compiled to try to help you understand the ssc's a little bit better <clears throat> so i'm sorry i know this video is already going quite long i know that you guys just like the fast information i'm going to pick up the speed a little bit uh, but i did want to show you just a few varieties that you can hatch out from the SSCs. So we've talked about what it looks like, uh, male and female. Some you can tell, some you can't. Easiest way is to vinsex them at six to eight weeks old. Typically, if their body is light and their head is very, very dark, that means it's a male. Uh, if it is a silver, silver uh, a silver pharaoh then you can feather sex at three weeks old but again there's so many varieties and so many things that are going to hatch out of these the safe thing to do is to tell you that you need a vent sex um, average weight let's talk about the average weight the average weight at full maturity which is 10 weeks old is between nine and nine and a half ounces um, the average egg size at full maturity is between 11 and 12 grams so still a fairly large egg um, hatch true now in our previous video if you don't want to don't know what i mean about hatching true in our jumbo white wing pharaoh video in this playlist i went into depth what that means so i'm not going to do that again and i don't want to bore you but hatching true percentage on the ssc's is 75 percent which means 75 out of every 100 is going to hatch out some, some form of a silver. And again, it could be Andalusian, it could be charcoal, it could be silver ferro, it could be silver and gold, it could be all kinds of stuff, right? But 75% of them will have the silver some sort of thing in it. 25% will not hatch out silver. You could get Tibetan, gold, ferro, uh, and gold, I mean gold Manchurian or Italian. Uh, you could get pharaoh out of it. Um, you could get white. Uh, very rarely, you could get an albino, but again, that is extremely rare uh, now. Uh, you could get... Um, that's, main, that's the majority of them. Again, I've seen a couple hatch out uh, scarlets before. Um, I've seen a couple snowies because that's how we created those, uh, which we will get to in a future video. Um, but with our breeding program, which we will do in other videos and in another playlist down the road about how we breed our SSCs, um, but we don't have them SSC to SSC for the whole year. Uh, sometimes we do uh, SSCs other than our Jumbo Wilds are the most strict breeding program that we have, um, but it could be a lethal idea to breed SSC to SSC for year after year after year after year. Now, doing it for a year or two, we haven't seen any issues, but we also mix that up uh, so that you can get many varieties out of it. We will never um, just do the silver pharaoh or just the silver and gold. We've done that in the past. 
um, but we love the SSC, the Schofield Silver Collection, because you get so many varieties out of it. I feel like I'm taking too long, so I'm gonna move on. Uh, average lifespan. Average lifespan is two years. It is, cons the classification of it would be a rare, um, because to get the silver gene, you need it. I know, I know, I promise. The next video I do, I will do a video on how to get that color. Because every video I've done so far, I'm saying, well, you gotta purchase. And I, say, I swear, it's not a sales tactic, I promise. You just need the silver gene. Um, so, but on the same token, if you wanna produce a silver pharaoh, it would be pharaoh male over silver hen. You need a dark silver to do so. To get the silver and gold, you need a golden Manchurian male over a light silver. Um, so there you go, I gave you a little bit. Um, average lifespan, I said, is two years. And egg production. Uh, these are quite uh, good layers. They average 280 to 290 eggs a year. Uh, so they're great layers. Uh, they're a decent size, nine to nine and a half ounces. They're great gram, 11 to 12, 11 to 12 grams. Uh, so they're not jumbos, but they are above standard size. So they're great. Uh, I know this video went quite long, but again, the collections are gonna go a little bit longer. Uh, the German pastel collection is probably gonna go just as long. Um, but next video uh, is going to be a fun one as well. Um, if you've been following us, I said that we were gonna do the pansies. Uh, actually, I have some growing out that are in the brooder room and I wanna show you those because they're great looking. Uh, so I've postponed the pansy video uh, and I moved on to the SSC. So long story short, Thank you for watching. Remember, every Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, we go live to do a Q&A. We answer any questions that you might have, uh, and we try to help you out. Now, at the beginning of every live Q&A, I'm going to do an availability update. So, for example, all of our jumbos are off the website right now. Uh, on Sunday at 7 p.m., I will be doing an update at the very beginning. So, if you can't watch the the live show, uh, or if you don't want to watch the live show, you could watch the first minute or two just to get the availability update for our website, myshirefarm.com. Again, please support our channel my, uh, by hitting the like button and uh, hitting the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it you. Thank you for all that you do, and uh, stay tuned. I've got a lot of great videos coming your way. Stay safe. Good luck. We'll see you next time.